Привет всем! С вами я, Дженни, и это College Russian. Ко мне вернулся мой дорогой бывший студент Илай, вы уже знаете его, и у нас сегодня будет очень-очень-очень сложная, трудная тема. Это причастие. These are called participles. Ну, поскольку я знаю, что это довольно тяжелая тема, давайте сейчас поговорим о не очень трудной теме. Скажите, пожалуйста, или как погода там в Юте? А, но с- сейчас идет на улице. С- а, снег идет сейчас? Да, сейчас, да. Mm-hmm. А, вчера было много снега, на самом mm-hmm. деле. И это очень хорошо, потому что здесь, в Юте, бывает часто у нас есть снег, но в прошлом году не было много. То есть мы так рады, что снег, снег здесь. Mm-hmm. Um, но также очень холодно, на самом деле. Uh, в прошлом mm-hmm. неделе у нас было uh, рядом, ну как, 10... Degree? 10? Серьезно? 10 градусов? Mm. Но да. по Ферингайту, наверное, да. по Сельсию это типа, не знаю, минус 10, может быть. Да, очень Я холодно не было. Знаю. Mm-hmm. Но в субботу это было тепло, 30, и в воскресенье было 35. То есть это чуть-чуть теплее. Но uh-huh. <laughs> а, интересно, когда у вас много снега, они что люди делают? Они, они ездят на работу, когда много снега? Ну да. Mm-hmm. А, здесь, видите, бывает часто, что надо, надо ездить на работу, если снег идет. А, особенно с школой, потому что где я живу, это большой а, район, где много студентов. То есть бывает редко когда школа закончивается из-за снега. Закрывается. Угу. Да. А здесь всегда, даже если прогноз погоды показывает, что, может быть, есть маленький, маленький мелкий шанс, что снег будет, все, они закрывают школы. Серьезно? Серьезно? Это, это ужас. И э, да, даже если они думают, что снег будет, Потому а, что да, ну у, них нет, у них нет оборудования, ну, то есть mm-hmm. и у них нет инструментов, чтобы убрать снег. Да, не да. так здесь. Да, а потому что деле... здесь редко снег падает. Здесь очень редко, и поэтому не стоит денег купить все это оборудование. Ага. Не стоит. Поэтому они просто... Да. Это дешевле просто закрывать все, когда снег есть. Но это очень сложно а, за родителей, потому что им, ну, конечно, надо работать, да? да? <laughs> Для русских. Да. Что, да. что делать с детьми, да? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Да. да. Нет, нет, если, например, даже в моем университете, если закрывают школы, но ну, они закрывают все, даже государство О, почти закрывается. Да, О! все. Они oh. говорят, что нет, вам не надо сегодня приходить на работу, снег будет. И когда я говорю, что снег будет, я говорю, а вот такое количество Просто, снега. Да, маленький, да. Mm-hmm. Немножечко, вот. немножечко, да. А у вас сколько? Я видела новости, у вас много, как я видела в некоторых местах метр. Снега. Да, есть. на самом деле mm-hmm. я, Или я полметра. смотрел, ну, есть, конечно, а, ну как, резорт, можно так сказать, или... Курорт, а, курорт. Курорт, курорт. Лыжный, это... В лыжных курортах? Да. да. Здесь в Юте они очень а, ну, известны, конечно, но сейчас в Америке они сами... Ну как? У них есть а, больше снег всех в Америке. Понятно. В Юте ага. самое да. большое количество снега из-за всех кур... лыжных курортов. Да, здесь сейчас в Юте. Mm-hmm. Да, да, да я видела очень, новости. Очень хорошо Голды нас было. Да, для, для тех, кто любит кататься на лыжах, на сноубордах, да. Юта сейчас идеальное место. Окей, да. вот. Окей, я рада, что я отвекла тебя немного от этой темы, <laughs> которая нас <laughs> ждет сейчас. Окей, so Ила is having a lot of anxiety about this grammar concept, причастие, participles, okay? So this is a very advanced Russian concept. Today, guess what? You really do not need to produce these in your everyday speech. 
unless you're a journalist or a TV anchor, you really do not need to be talking like this. Okay. Now they do want to see that you understand what's happening in these words. Can you identify them? Can you identify what's being done to whom and so on? So we're going to practice that today. And then we're going to come over here to the website and take some sample tests because that's all that's going to be required of you on these pretty yeah. is to understand them. Okay. Yeah. So does it just take some deep breaths. Like I know, and notice we have saved this topic for the absolute last video in our series because yes. he has a lot of anxiety about it. So, yes. So participles are how you turn verbs into adjectives. So we're going to practice identifying these participles and then identifying, oh, what's the verb that that was formed from? Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to separate these out into active participles and passive participles. And this will all make sense to you in just a minute. And then we're going to notice some key. And when we're taking this test over here, we're going to notice some key Slavisachitania, which is what? Slavisachitania. Remember, I have an entire Google doc for you. Yeah, just, just words you need to know. Uh huh. Adnasitsa kuchimu, bayatsa chivu kavu, etc., etc. Okay. And then, of course, we'll lighten the mood in the end with idiomai. Okay. Vot. Mm Harasho. -hmm. So, we are, I'm going to give you some examples. This is the little box that when you see a prichastya, a participle, it's going to fit into one of these boxes. Okay. It's either going to be a verb of the noun or thing it's describing is doing something in the present tense, or it was doing something in the past tense, or something is being done to it in the present tense, or something was done to it in the past tense. Okay, so let me give you an example. That sounds intimidating right now. First, find me the participle in here. Find me the adjective that looks like it was formed from a verb. Uh, uh -huh. Nachinayushi. Okay, so we can see here it's in genitive plural case. We're not intimidated. Those are just good old fashioned endings. Okay, yeah. good old fashioned adjective endings. Nothing scary there. Okay, so what's the verb that it was formed from? Nachinat. Nachinat, watching harasho. And as you can see, it's you. It's formed from the they conjugation. Nachinayut. We take off the te and we put in sh. Notice this is a sh. We don't see sh very often in Russian, but if you see sh in an adjective. I bet you it's a participle. Not always, but about 85% oh. of the time, it's a participle. Okay? What? Okay, хорошо. Для начинающих. Okay, so how would you translate that word into English in this context? Um, beginners, beginning. Beginning programmers, right? Beginning yeah. programmers. So they are doing the starting. They're the ones doing the starting. So that tells yeah. us we need it to be over here in this active column. Is it, were they starting or are they currently starting? Currently starting. Currently starting. Okay. So we would put nachinayushi right here into this. They are currently starting the process of learning programming. So then later on in the lesson, I'm going to start making you inimislavami to say things in other words. So this is how I would say this using the word katuri instead of a participle. I would say, luchie knigi dla людей или для программистов, которые начинают изучать программинг, mm -hmm. right? So when we say this with иными словами, we have to use a который usually. Yeah. And then we're going to do который plus whatever verb it is they're doing. Okay. Хорошо. Следующий. Which, which category would this fall? Find me, find me the причастие and then tell me which category it would fall into. Uh, I recommend you in Recommenduje mi. Aha, comes Think from which word? Recommendujut. Recommendovat. 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 Okay. Are the books doing the recommending or are the books being recommended? The books are being recommended. Ah, okay. So they're they're passive. Something's being done mm -hmm. to them. Okay. Were were they recommended or are they currently being recommended? They're currently being recommended. Currently rec being recommended. So we would put that up here into passive present. Okay. So it comes from the verb recommendovat. Uh, and it goes here. It's it's in the passive present. Okay. So in the mislavami, uh knig de la programistov. 
а, а, 35 лучших книг, которые мы рекомендуем программистам. Угу. Которые мы рекомендуем. Которые мы рекомендуем. The, way, the reason I phrase it like that is because if you look at this, you see how there's an M. Yeah. That M tells you it's a passive present. You can pick it out by saying it is the passive present. These are the books we are recommending. Okay. So notice in the other one, the thing that tells us it's an active present is this sh. -ch. Yeah. And that one's easy because we really don't see sh, sh very often. And for us English speakers, it's really hard for us to know, is that a sh or is that a sh, right? Um, so, so right here, I'm giving you two tricks for picking out our, our present participles. Следующий. Вот. Find me the причастие. This one's tricky. And this one's fun because uh, this is a word you say all the time and you never realized it was a participle. Oh, boy. I'm assuming it's clost. Yeah, Does, that doesn't look like an adjective. What looks like an adjective there, here? There's only one thing that looks like an adjective. Tom? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plural. It's a plural adjective. A plural adjective. This is a participle. You never really. Oh, is it the is, is it the wishie? I didn't even know. Those, I didn't even know as a part of it. I, I was just looking at the the yep. yellow writing. I was like, "What? What is even in there?" Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So there's a couple of different ways you can pick out a past, an active past, and one of them is this combination: v sh i v sh i. Okay, v sh i. And notice it's a sh and not a sh ch. Like it yeah. is in the present tense. So that's really going to help us to make the distinction. No, and in addition, the v in front of it. So the way we created this was we simply took the infinitive, bit, took off the te miyaki's knock on the end, inserted shri. And there you go. The thing that was. The thing that was. That's what you're saying when you're saying bif shri. The president the that, that was. Da? What? Yeah. So this book is about um, like ex exes, ex boyfriends and stuff. So uh -huh. it would be like parni katori bili, parni katori bili, boyfriends that were. Da, so that's a that's yeah. participle. Da, and in fact, we're gonna have a slide here in just a second of words you say all the time that you never realized were participles. What? Хорошо. Next one. Find me the participle. Um, strana vjedinje. No, that's a noun. Sajedinjenje. Sajedinjone je štate Ameriki. Sajedinjone. What's the original verb? Sajedinit. Sajedinit. To unite. To unite things. Yeah. To unite things. Saedinit turns into Saedinyonli. Okay. Are are the states doing the uniting? Are they uniting things or are they united? No. They're okay. united. Are they currently being united? No, they were past united. They were united in whatever state that was when we declared, right? So I, I don't yeah. know when we became states and not colonies, but um, right. So that goes into passive past. They were united and it's a done deal. And now they're united. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Хорошо. So that comes from Saedinit. So this is in the worksheet that you have. This is the little chart. And of course, so my students with a dirty mind, they love this chart because they like to fill this in with a certain four letter word. Um, so you would say something like the thing slash person that is blanking. Okay. So nachinayushi. That's what we just saw. The the yeah. pro programist katori nachinayet. That is doing the starting. Okay. Next mm -hmm. one. The thing slash person that is be that is blanked. Right. So recommendu yemui. So the recommended books. Right. Yeah, and by the way, things in this column, things that are in this column, in English, they often, not always, they often translate with an ed on the end. 
Which because column? The, the passive column. column? The passive column, because not because they're in past tense necessarily, but because when something they is being, being done acted. to it, yeah, it's being acted upon. Okay. Over here, active past, you're going to see. So look over here. We have specifically only these forms. In the active past, you can have she or the she. And you're going to find out when do we need this she as well. Okay. And there's, there's a specific time that you need it. So this could be two things, depending on if it's a perfective verb or an imperfective verb. It could be the thing that blanked, if it was a perfective, prachitavshi, prachitavshi, mm -hmm. for example, he, the person that finished reading the book or, yeah. the, uh, or the person that was reading, chitavshi, chitavshi, he was reading. Mm -hmm. Now notice up here, this has to be an imperfective because you can't have present tense with yeah, perfective. Yeah, something right? that's something that's completely. This enough. one has to be. This one has to be um, perfective as or imperfective as well. And then down here, most likely, it's going to be perfective because the action is done, and now it is that. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, so they Say are now Sayedin Sa only. They're united, and that's it. And now yeah. we're the United States of America. Okay, Harashwa. So now. I am going to give you, oh, so there's just more examples of it with different words, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you could take one verb and just from one verb, create five different adjectives, five different participles. Prachitani, which column does it go into and how would you translate it into English? Prachitani. Uh, Prachitani, I would, that would go into the uh, passive past column. Mm -hmm. Which, and how would that mean? Um, like the, 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 the book finish, that was, that was read to the finish. Yeah, that was read. It was finished. Yeah. I finished read it. Mm -hmm. Um, so we see that she, we uh, immediately know it's she. past tense. Active past. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I, yeah. So Fill it in with one of these blanks. The student, student, читавший книгу. So just mean like the person that was reading? The person that was reading. We don't care that if he finished it or not, right? He just, yeah. there, this, this boy that was reading in the library later started freaking out and we had to call the police, right? Um, yeah. Читаемый. Uh, passive present. Так, so. The thing in person that is. Самые читаемые романы года. Самые читаемые книги в истории. Наверно Библия, например, Библия, наверно самая читаемая книга истории. Yeah. Да. So the most read. The the. The thing that is being read. The thing that is read. Okay. Chitayu shi. We said that shh. So, you know, it's active present. Most likely mm -hmm. active present. And then the ne person that is. Не мешайте, пожалуйста, читающим студентам. Не мешайте. Не мешайте. Они сейчас... Don't bother the reading students. There's the students who are reading. The students who are reading. And again, we in English, we have to... We can't translate these nicely with one word. Yeah because it just doesn't sound quite as nice in, in yeah. English. Okay, how about this one? Pratchitavshi. Student pratchitavshi knigu. So that's active past. So the student that like what read and finished the book. Молодец, очень хорошо. Student pratchitavshi knigu сдал экзамен на пятерку, например. Okay, хорошо. Вот. So then we're going to come over here and I'm about to blow your mind with words that fall into these categories that we use all the time that you never never realized are okay so how about give me all the tenses like past present and future in russian oh uh, what do you mean like um do you know how to say present tense in russian no that's the mm -hmm. that means present and like it's like the thing standing Right? Oh my <laughs> gosh. So that is literally an adjective, isn't it? <laughs> Budu -shi. The Budu thing that will be. And then prošli. Uh huh. Okay, no, no, prošli is different. Okay. Pro prošedšeje vreme. Pra -shed 
Shi. The thing that oh, shi, shi. passed. The thing that oh. passed. Wow. Yeah. Yep. And you're going to get this Shi ending with all verbs of motion. Not all verbs of motion. With the um, perfect of verbs of motion. U shed shi. Piri shed shi. Vui shed shi. Mm-hmm. Очень хорошо. So I think that's about it for there. Prashed she. Oh, I have another good one down here. Suma shed she. Is a like participle. crazy? Going crazy. They So the, our verb is actually just right here. Shed she. From. So oh, no, 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 I separated that wrong. Su uma shed she. Is, you put that all together. <laughs> It's like from the mind, they're crazy. Yeah. yeah. They went crazy. They went crazy. Arashu, um, I, let's see. I've made a list. Okay. Over here, you, we hear this in the metro. Уважаемые пассажиры. Yeah. Уважаемые пассажиры. Не забывайте. Yeah. Да, вот следующая станция. Богат, like Bagrata you... Yonovskaya. Uh-huh. Yep. So Respected that's how they talk. Prisoners. Уважаемые, my dear respected uh, oh любимый. любимый the thing that is being loved the thing that is being loved так what else do i have over here i made a whole list of them oh have you heard the phrase так называемый no but i'm assuming it means like the way the thing is called or the way the thing is so named. called так называемый so-called. Незабываемый. Незабываемый. Unforgettable. Да. And then big ones over here. These ones are pretty obvious, I feel like, when you're seeing them. But ones we say all the time that we never realized were actually participles. Открытый. Закрытый. Занят. Занятый. I'm from the verb занят. The thing that is occupied. The thing yeah, that that's was crazy. occupied. Очень хорошо. I think I got all of them. I think I, I made them all good. Yeah. So yeah, these are words we say all the time that we've just never realized were... Oh, here's another one that I've never... The thing that follows comes from... Следующий. It like makes sense now why they're like mm -hmm. that. You're like, oh, but when you just memorize those words, you don't think of that they're participants. Yeah, you never realized. And, but that's why I'm telling you, you really don't need to know these super fancy ones in everyday speech. You just don't. Like nobody talks yeah. like that unless yeah. you're a, a news anchor or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go through. We're going to read these. Make sure we understand. Well, I, well, I've already laid it out for you. They're all active present. So what we're going to do is now do in the mislavami. We're going to rephrase this using, we're going to probably have to use some sort of katori to make this make sense. Okay? okay. So go ahead and read it, read it, translate it into English just for yourself. So, you know, and then we're going to do inimi slavami and you're going to have to rephrase it with a katori. Okay. So, pri rabotaishim kondicionere ne krevaiti aknai diviri. Mm-hmm. So, so it's for, like, oh, let's first identify the verb that is coming. So, what's the verb? Работать. Работать. We do the ani conjugation. Take off the t and we put on a she. Работай you so she. Like and then we're getting work, prepositional case. So it's like the 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 working conditioner. So then like it's the, in the it's event like, that the conditioner is working, is don't working. open the door and the windows. Да, очень хорошо. So then the, so put that in. this one's hard. Pre conditionere. Который работает. Не открывайте окна и двери. Так. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one. Номер два. Инвестор. Инвестор может выбрать страну, где много рус... русско... руссковаящих людей, и потому проще адаптироваться. Mm -hmm. So, сначала по-английски. Um, so, the investor might choose... Yeah. Or can choose a country where there's a lot of um, Russian-speaking people mm -hmm. because because uh, uh, it's easy to adapt. It's it's easier to adapt. Mm -hmm. easier to adapt. Mm -hmm. So let's we now we have to replace this word 
And we're going to be inserting some sort of katori in here somewhere. So, investor может выбрать страну. Um, Just skip где, this completely. Um, где много людей, которые говорят по-русски. Ага, uh -huh, молодец. И, и потому что это проще адаптироваться. Так, очень хорошо. Окей, okay, следующий. Um, поможем помочь остоящимся в России и уезжаемым оттуда. Окей, okay, so, помощь остающимся в России и уезжающим оттуда. So these get a little bit more tricky when we see a reflexive on the end, but we yeah. still see this ш happening in here. Look, there's still yeah. that ш. We know we're dealing with the participle of some sort. So now we just got to think of like, okay, what's that verb that it was formed from? So the verb отстаться? Оставаться, остаться. Люди, которые остаются в России. И также уезжают оттуда. Люди, которые уезжают оттуда. Так, очень хорошо. Okay, so I threw in another reflexive just to teach you to don't be scared. Look for the verb hidden inside the reflexive. It's in there. I promise you. You'll you'll see it. Для боящих летат пассажиров придуман новый способ избежать стресса при полете. 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 So for like so, so that's for like, what kinds of passengers? Для каких uh, пассажиров? Для um, пассажиров, которые боятся. Um, so that's the other tricky thing with these participle sentences is like, look at that. The pasajir of is clear over here, right? Yes, yeah, so so, you have to like take the whole chunk out of it. Because guess what? If you put, if you and you put pasajir of ne right next to it, it would be like people who are afraid of passengers. <laughs> People who are afraid of passengers, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> which that's how I feel when I'm flying. I'm fine with the flying part. I just don't like the other people on the plane. Okay, <laughs> sure. So yeah, and when we get over to the test, you're gonna see. You're gonna really have to connect what goes with the participle. Yeah, okay? that's tough. Okay, хорошо. Следующий. So that was active present. Now we're going on to active past. Okay. So the thing or person that was acted or was acted. Okay. В Казани под колесами авто погиб, mm -hmm. колесами авто погиб, переходивший до дорогу. Um, so какой the city человек? Of, какой человек погиб? The, the crossing person, the person who's crossing. Человек, который переходил yeah. дорогу. Yeah, and that's important to know that he was in the process of it. Of crossing, yeah. Right? Because versus Pirishetshi Darugu, he had already crossed the road onto the other side and this car like swerved off the sidewalk. Swerved it on the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So because so if this was a perfect, if it would be Pirishetshi. Pirishetshi. Okay. He, he, he successfully crossed. He had successfully crossed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harasho. No meridva. Vechna Pamit. Vechna Pamit Siam Pavshim Frantavikam Fran Frantavikam. Uh -huh. uh, mm. So the eternal memory of those. There's two uh, participles in here. There's two participles. So ushedshim is one of them. Mm -hmm. And what does that come from? Frantaviki uh, katurie. Ushedshi is jizni. I'm saying like Ushed like like somehow left like Ushli Zizni. They left this yeah. life. They left life early, right? Ush Zizni. What else? And then pa Pavshim is the other one. Pavshim. Mm -hmm. Comes from the verb past, which doesn't get used very much now. Now we say u past, but it comes from fallen. Those who fell oh, on the those who fell on, on the front, the front of, of the war. On the front lines of the war. And then died in this life. And they left this life mm -hmm. the, during the during the process of the war. Tchinia, yep, Tchinia, finally. What's in Harasho? What number three? Vrayonia Buryati. 
Prvni brati, prastaj, pras, prastjacija s pagibšim v Ukrajini dobrovolcem. dobrovolcem. Mm-hmm. S kakim človekom? S kakim dobrovolcem oni si čas sprašajaca? Pagibšim? Človek, katorý? Pagibš... Pagib. Vse. Pagib. Pagib. Pagibnúť. Aha, on pagib, ona pagibla, ani pagibli. Da? Pagib, to? Znači pagib. Like a you know this, pagib. you know this. Died in a tragic way. To die oh, in okay, a tragic okay. way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Tak, očin harašo. A vod, četiri, my chcem, što by. Uh, Zainteresovajši vsi je. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Ekskursom ljudi ostavali s nami. Mm-hmm. So that that is the first of all there is zainteresa vabshifs. <laughs> zainteresa vabshifs is kustvam. Oh okay, so now try and say this with different kakie ljudi. Ani hatia što bi kakie ljudi ostavali s nimi? Um is kustva. I can't remember is like food art art art, art. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like the people that are interested in art. Ludi katuriye. Are they currently interested or did they get interested at some point? No, I mean it's like active past, so it's like at, uh-huh. at one point they were interested. So ludi katuriye za intera savalis. Za intera savalis iskustvam. Da. Ludi katuriye za intera savalis. And when you say za intera savatsa, means like I took up a liking to. Like I, 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 I suddenly got really obsessed with blah, blah, right? Yeah. Okay. But it's like over now. The idea is that it's over, right? It's not like that I, it's over. It's like now they're addicted. Now they're into it. Interesting. Because right? I thought maybe yeah. it's like active past. It's more like, just like when you, ah, теперь я очень заинтересован. Like, oh, now I'm intrigued. Now I need to okay. know kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Так, okay, mm-hmm. хорошо. Тринадцать. Uh, so now we're doing passive. The person slash thing that is blanked. Okay. Хорошо. Okay. Номер один. Um, са, са трудники правах, правохранительных агра... Органов. Ага. Органов. Органов. Um, задержали под, под Австремаева в убийстве трех девушек. Трех девушек. Ага. Um, what? So, so where's our where's our participle? Uh, da, 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 da. We are doing passive present. So we're so looking for that the, me, you know what I mean? Like the M. Yes, it's the, the, the M. Mm-hmm. What verb does it come from? Um, you can probably guess. You can reconstruct it most likely. Padazdrev. But, <laughs> da, but zrivat, meaning to okay. suspect, to suspect somebody. Mm. Okay, so, arrestavali. So, um, so they they arrested somebody who who suspected of killing three women. The suspect. Uh, he's a suspect yeah. in the murder of three women. Yeah, he's suspected of the murder of three women. Mm-hmm. And by the way, you, you, especially with legal terms, we do. We have sudimli, which is like the 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 defendant is how you would say that. The person being judged, for example, padazrivayimli. The um, yeah, okay. So okay, следующий. This is a famous line from Pushkin poetry that took me years to be able to understand it. But when I figured out prichasya, I was like, oh, okay, that's what he's saying. Um, как дай вам Бог любимой будет другим. So may God give... grant you my may God grant you what? Любимой is like obviously the participle, but uh huh. So lovingly to be <laughs> friends. Okay, so fun thing with these passive, I'm going to give you a hint. When you're looking at a passive prichestia, when you're looking at a passive participle, the person or thing that's doing that verb to them is going to get instrumental case. So who is doing the loving here? The friend, the no. drug. Yeah. 
drugim, like the adjective drugoi. Oh, the, like the other, like the another. Yeah. So what is he wishing for this woman? Because he spends the whole poem talking about how he loved her. She never loved him back. And he says, Kak dai vam boh drugim. He gives up on it. And then this is his final line saying, may God grant you. Love from another? To be loved like that, the way I loved you. May God grant you to be loved like that by another person. Dang. Yeah, it took me years. All this is like to, I always thought it was like to love another person. Like I couldn't figure yeah, it out. Yeah, and yeah. then when I realized, no, to be loved like that by somebody else, the way I Dang. loved you, because I'll never have Dang. you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And Pushkin, like that's another one. Like you can't grasp it unless you kind of understand the, the grammar in here. So, Kakudai Bambu, Lubimoy, Buit, Drugib. Okay. Очень хорошо. Number three. Demi more. А что-то сделала со своим лицом и стала неузнаваемой. Неузнаваемой. So is the principle of like неузнават. Like the not. What is узнават? Молодец, очень хорошо. Unrecognizable. Yeah. So Demi Moore did something to her face. And became unrecognizable. Да, очень хорошо. Это правда. Ты видел? Ты видел ее? Я даже не знала, что это Деми Мор, когда я видела. Серьезно, я не знала. Я не знала, кто это. Это вот очень, очень. Да как Аманда Байнс. Я не знаю, кто это. Так, окей, следующий самый. А праздновайемой. Продаваемой. Продаваемой. Как продавать? Продавать? Продавать. A Markoi Aftamobilia ne period se devatisha chitnatsa So So in English we would rephrase this. We'd probably start with this. Toyota Corolla became yeah, like the the the, the most prasnavayamoy marko. Pradavayamoy, pradavayamoy. Mashina katuruyu pradayut bolshevsech. As in, like being sold or like purchased? The most that kind of sold. The, the most the sold. sold. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like, yeah. Okay. Last one. And remember with these passives. The thing or person that's doing the passive to it usually gets instrumental. So let's let's read these. Okay. Um, вся информация о, об купленных и проданных билетах может быть найдена на аккунте пользователя. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a lot of weird stress shifts in these. Um, in these participles, uh, it, like this one goes to prodanich, naidena. The the stress on some of them you just have to memorize shifts backwards, but that's just a side note. Okay. Hot dog. You're gonna know that. You know, don't you don't need to know that for a test, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Rasho. Oh, cool. So find me my prichastia. Yeah. Jeez, I don't know. I see a lot look of like... things that look like verbs. What looks like verbs, but are actually adjectives that look like verbs? Kuplenich. Adject Kuplenich, uh-huh. Очень хорошо. Coming from what verb? Um, Kuplet, ku ku Kuplit. Kupit, Kupit. Kupit, uh-huh. And then? And then Pradanich. Pradanich, uh-huh. Pradanich. Uh-huh. Means? Pradat. Um, Pradavat. Pradat. Pradavad. But in this case, they were they were sold, right? Versus right here, they are being sold. They yeah, are it's being the past sold. Tense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is this saying? All of the information about purchased and sold tickets, может быть найдено, кстати, that's another participle, but it's just a short form. Can be found. Can be found. Not accounts you pull the way Так, номер два, Маша. Позвонила всем приглашенным на свадьбу мамой и сказала, что мама не правильно написала число свадьбы. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, what do you say? Каким людям она позвонила? Каким людям? Who are the people that she called? Всем. Всем как... What kind of всем? Приглашенным. Приглашенным, которых... So everyone was, everyone was invited to the wedding by... The, the, all the people invited to the wedding by mom. By mom, right? right? Yeah. Mom мой. Потому что yeah. мама неправильно написала числа свадьбы. Mm. Но, например, если они были приглашенными Машей, тогда все хорошо, потому что она правильно написала числа. А если они были приглашенными мамой, тогда у нас есть проблема, потому что мама mm-hmm. неправильно написала. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, yeah, хорошо, saying. номер три. В Петербурге. But... В Петербурге а вы увидите много зданий, построенных европейским, евро, европейскими ахи, ахтехторами. Ага. Так. So what are we saying so, here? Построенных. Mm-hmm. From what verb? Uh, построить. Построить. Ага, так. Построить. Очень хорошо. It's obviously the passive совершенный вид of like the European buildings that were built of like oh да. it was like the built buildings by the European architects, uh-huh. architects. Да, которые построили uh, европейские архитектуры например mm-hmm. так окей okay, хорошо номер четыре список необходимых вещей для кроваты, кроватки кроватки на Новорожденного. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, необходимых. Ага, uh-huh. what are you literally saying when you're saying не- необходимый? Like. You see this important. verb in here? Обходить. Обходить. Ага, uh-huh. обходить means to get around. Но не обходишь. Yes, you, like can't get, like... you can't get by without it. It is necessary. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, right? And that's another one that we say all yeah. the time we never realized was a... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Так, yeah. Новорожденный. Yeah. Новорожденный. Новорожденного. Uh, Nova meaning like new. So newly like, born. Yeah, newly, newly born. born. Yeah. <laughs> so it comes from Radit. Uh, Radita. Mm-hmm. But that's a, it's a passive, like a, the thing that was given birth to. Yeah. Okay. Следующий фильмы. С, фильмы снятия нами во время обучения. What kinds of films? Какие фильмы? Снятия. Фильмы, которые снят. What is what is that to verb? Be, to be filmed. It literally means to take off, but it also means to take a picture, to film oh, something. Снят. А нами во время обучения. Mm-hmm. So, what kind of films? Films that are who and who did the filming? It's all here in the sentence for you. Uh, the ones that we did. We did. That we filmed while studying. While studying. Very good. Okay. Moment of truth. We're going to come over here to the test. This is the second level. Moment of truth. We're going to come over here to the test. This is the third level. Right, so this is the TRKI уровень номер два. So this is довольно трудно, right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, хорошо. Премия Ника – это высшая награда, присуждаемая за выдающиеся достижения в области киноискусства. Mm-hmm. This is one of the harder ones, just by the way, so don't get too discouraged. Okay, so let's first identify what kind of pretty are we looking at. So I know that that is like the, it's the moi, so it's the it's the past active, yeah. No, it's present. Present active. Uh-huh. Present active. Because you and you know that because you can really see that nice moi conjugation inside. Yeah, like we. Like we are currently doing this. We are currently awarding. So yeah. nagrada, it's the highest prize that we award for excellent 
accomplishment Accom or a distinct the, distinct accomplishment in the, in the area in of, the region of you know we just saw the word iskustva, i remember art yeah so so it's like filmed art kino iskustva, no? like movie art filmed art mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay so then so then they're trying to say what's the other way of saying this right like like what we just did how do you break this down and say it without using it so, yep. so now we got to come over here. Right? So we got to first identify what is the thing we're giving more information about. And it is about this noun right here. So kakaya nagrada, kakaya nagrada. So, so it's going to be uh, uh, feminine. It's going to be a feminine. Yeah, katoru. I mean, katoru yu, but we mainly care about which version of this verb we're seeing. Oh, I hear what you're saying. So, you see what I'm saying? Look at look at yeah. our different choices. And we can go through process of elimination of why it can't be that. So let's look at, for example, let's look at right here. Prisujdali. What do we know about I am we? Uh, we know well, we know well, we know that it's active. And that would be it's active. So it, and that one's passed. Yeah. Okay. Prisudili. Yeah. We're good. Now we're getting a perfective. Yeah, but it's still past tense though. Mm -hmm. uh, down here we have budut prisujdat. So that would be um, like a like a perfected, right? A budut prisujdat. No, like, it's not a perfective. So, it will be given. It will be awarded. So it, 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 it applies that it'll happen in the future, uh -huh. right? Versus prisujdayut, which is currently happening, right? There, that it is currently that is currently what the prize is is right now. Yeah. So which one do you think? I would assume it's A because it's currently happening, right? Active. Yes. The thing we give. Okay. So this was um I this should be on your list of Slava Sachitanya. Pri nad lejit. Okay, do you know what that means? To belong um, to. And then it gets the person or thing it belongs to gets state of case. Okay, so okay. I've cleared the air on that. Now you just focus on just the the participle. Okay, so can you go officially? Easy listening. So it's the mm -hmm. So that tells right. us it's what. That tells us that it's. Uh, let me think here for a second. It is past active. Nope, present active. Present active. I got my past yeah. and my present on the only spot. Think but... sledushi. Think nastayashi. Yes, mm -hmm. That's right. So ha. present active. Mm -hmm. So present active. So it's not going to be, I'm just going through. So it's not going to be budit pridla de jab because it's present active. Mm -hmm. It's so not going it to be a good. past tense. We can go through and eliminate our past tenses. Yeah. So that, so A is gaf and then. I don't know why there's that dojni in there. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So then I mean, it's v. Da. Katoria Katoria sichas. Yeah. Prinadlejat. Mm -hmm. Izvestnim politikam. Yeah. Da, karasho. Za granitsu razrishaytsa vyvazit tolka valutu so currency that has been registered in customs. Kakaya um, valuta? Kakaya valuta? What kind of currency? Uh, and then when you find yourself answering that question, that's going to give you over your answer over here. And this one is where aspect matters. Yeah. So this has already happened. So it's going to be past tense. And then past it's tense. Be, it's going to be past perfected because it's already done. So it's you completed. So it's katoriu. No, it's not that one. And then katoriu registrali, registra registrali, and then so it's it's v because it's past exactly. Past and we want to match tense. this same verb. We're not going to just yeah. suddenly switch to an imperfective one over here. We have that. the perfective version of it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Kakie documentary. Kakie documentary. <laughs> your your voice is. Are you going making fun of mind. me? <laughs> no, good. I want you but, to do that. My voice. Your voice will be going through my mind as I'm taking this test. Good. Good. Um, documentary. Katoria. So we need to look. Are we looking at a past? Are we looking at a present? So it's present tense active. Active. The documents yeah. that interest the client. The documents that, that interest the client. Interest the client. Yeah. Not the so clients the that are interested in the documents. The, 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 uh -huh. uh, so it's not because it's not past tense. Mm -hmm. it's and then here. it's so it's not v either because it's past tense there as well. And so client. Oh, that's interesting. Because the clients are interested by mm -hmm. by the means of the by the means of the uh so I so would that's say, I mean, yeah. yes, that is the same concept. The documents that the client took an interest in, mm -hmm. but I don't really think we have the ability here to go off script when this one fits so nicely. Yeah. They're the clients that continually interest or the documents that continually interest the client. Whereas this yeah. ones are a, a particular document that a client took an interest to. Yeah. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So again, because we have, if we didn't have A available, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I guess it's good. Even though we're taking liberties with it a little bit, but yeah. A is available. So perfect. We've got a, okay. we've got a present tense right there, present active. We've got present tense conjugation right there. It's the same aspect. Perfect. Ready to go. Okay. What? Okay. Here's another good one. So now we're flipping it. Now we're going yeah, the opposite number... direction. Хорошо. Yeah. Вопрос, который... Va вопрос, который сейчас обсуждается. So this is currently happening, so we know that it's active. And then касается под писания договора об уничтожении. Уничтожении. Don't worry about all the other words. We don't care about that. Yeah. Okay? We care about so, this right in here. So we know that it's currently active. So your two options here is going to be but what would that mean? What would that mean? Yeah. Well, that, that the vapros is doing the absurdat. Yeah, and so it can't be right because it's not even the reflective mm -hmm. verb either. So exactly. we know that's not it. So potentially it could be b, or it could be mm -hmm. That also could work because it is active. But we need to figure out. Uh -huh. That's tricky. So what are we saying I'm... about this вопрос? What are you doing to it? Absurdat. Um, that you're currently judging? What does absurdat mean? Discussing. Discussing. So, so the, the, the question is being discussed. Mm -hmm. The question that we are discussing. Man, if I had, uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to say it's absurdayushis, yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, it could technically be, but v sounds way better. Which one? V. Oh, absurdayamoy. I'm just trying to think of I, I know that it is obviously active because it's seichas absurdayus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But where, why is it absurdayamoy? Why? Why? I mean, I guess absurdayushisya. I, I guess it could be. It just this sounds so much more natural to me. Absurdayamoy. I'm just I, trying to figure out like case wise. I'm looking at like thinking of that chart, and I'm trying to yeah. figure out where that would be on that chart. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh huh. Absurdayushis. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Well. Yeah, it could, it could, it would be still on the active chart, but it could, I, I was, because I, you're making it reflexive, it could come across as a being, the thing being blanked. You know yeah, that's I mean? what I'm trying to figure out. Cause if, cause I'm thinking like when it, when it's like hot dog. I don't know. We can go this. to the end, but I, I feel like. No, I, I I would trust you on this for sure. Like I've, I don't to, hear this word absurdaiushi. I don't really hear it very often. Whereas absurdaiushi vapros, yes, I do hear that one often. Yeah, 
yeah. but I don't know. We can check the the answer key later. Um, okay, хорошо. Uh, I just there oh. were some ones that I wanted to kind of skip forward to. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, this is a really good one. Shisti chat chased. So this is very important because if you got one, this one confused, you could miss the deadline. Okay, so Katoria Padali. So this is obviously past tense. Um, past tense. Is it perfective or imperfective? Well, it doesn't even matter because all you're looking for, do you remember how we created these? Um, how did we create the past tense participles? All we did was take the te miyaki's knock off, that, yeah, verb, you make it a that particular verb, and put a shi on the end of it. Yeah. So yeah? then the, the only possibility we have here is the, well, I, sh I shouldn't say that because you do put the, it's either ah, but. Mm -hmm. But does this look like the exact verb that's right here? No, padavshi. Yep, padavshi. That because guess what? If again, this is a big deal. You have to have had those documents submitted, not be in the process of submitting them. Because this one implies you're in the process of submitting. You're this. in the process of. Submitting. You're using so an imperfective, whereas this is important. Yet, padavshi. They have so to one, have been submitted. Is this technically like an active past? Um, okay, wait. Konkurso So we are describing litsa people, people who have done this. People who have done this. So it is an active past. Yeah. Okay, that makes mm -hmm. sense. That so, makes sense. Which yeah. one? Which yeah, one that makes it? sense. Yeah. So then it's ah, oh, it's a padavshia. Uh huh. Good. So yeah, yeah. And by the way, when you're not clear, we can't use padavayimli because that would be talking about the the documenti. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, see yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be passive, and, and that's no. Better. And when we're in question about what's the thing that we're talking about, what's the thing we're giving more information about? Typically, look at the noun right before the comma. Lisa. Look at the noun right before the comma. Right. Okay. okay, we are out of time. Let's come back and lighten the mood with idiomly. Okay. Как ты думаешь, что значит сказано сделано? Like, like, as said is done. Um, a, yeah, what's said a, is done. What a, what's a, such a poor translation? I'm like saying like I'm thinking like English idiom would be like, uh, well we do the opposite, do as I say, not as I do, <laughs> but right as as yeah. so that would translate. No, no, Stasna's Dilana is more like. Do you remember that moment from the movie Ten Commandments where Moses is like, "So let it be written, so let it be done," <laughs> kind of thing. I literally have no. You know, right you don't know. It's okay, it do sounds young. epic though. It, means, it, it does, epic. It's like. Like a deal's a deal. Like, we we a said deal. we'd do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, what? Следующее. Следующее. Вот где собака зарыта. Вот вот где собака зарыта. Look where this the dog. What is zarita? Zarita. Zarita, zarita to be buried. Oh dang! <laughs> so it's like look where the dog will be buried. It means, what do you think it means? If somebody's like, ну и вот где собака зарыта. Тебе надо, or something like that. You know, if they, if they say that at the end of... Well, I'm assuming the, it's like the dog did something bad and they're like, well, this is where the dog gets buried. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. Это значит, ну и самое интересное, самое важное, вот в чем. Are you serious right yeah. now? <laughs> yeah, like what? the crux of the matter, like the and like and then here, but, but here's the big thing. Like here's the but here, here's like, the, ju the juicy thing. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness! But this Hot is dog. the most important thing: the crux of the matter. Like, yeah, uh huh. What you had a show? Uh huh. Is riada von vichadiashchi? Riad, riad. What is a riad? Row. So for the row. Like from the row von Uhadiashi. 
выходить, like to exit, right? So uh-huh. von, like is exiting. But what is von? Uh, von is super hard to translate. Like over there, kind of going off oh, f- over there. From like from the from the row over there is where people are leaving, or like where where the exits happening, like the the exodus. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, what's this called? What's this called? Um, like essentially something out of the ordinary or out of out of character. So when you know you're exiting out of the row. So a riad is a row. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. So, so you're like, you're it's, going it's, out of the row. You're going over you're, there. You're one. leaving like the normal. Uh-huh. Okay. Is yeah. riad von so to. Like, I feel like we have an English version of this, but I can't remember what it is. You know what I mean? Like. To yeah, like he's just doing cut. something that's like a, like a, like a, like a, not normal, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, essentially out of the ordinary. Like he's he's stepping out of, out of line. Oh yeah, that's almost like what oh, it is. Yeah. Like, but yeah. it's not it's not like you're out of line. It's you're not misbehaving. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's more bad, just like yeah. you're it's you're kind of some words happening or something different mm-hmm. happening. Yeah. Так, очень хорошо. Ламица в открытую дверь. Ламица в открытую дверь. So something to the open door, mm-hmm. la mitza. What does la mitza mean? To kind of like to break through. Oh, so you break through the open door. Oh my goodness, mm-hmm. that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so to, it's to break down an already open door. Oh, so it's the idea of like doing something that's already done. Like you spent time doing something that's already okay. done. Or the Maybe. opposite, to reinvent the wheel. To like let's tr- yeah. let's try this in a new way. Let's try this in yeah. a new way. Or you know what I mean? Mitza, to- mm-hmm. Так. Okay, this is the one I was saying that's from history. So this is not so much an idioma, it's more of a paslovica, like a saying that exists. Mm-hmm. So, что такое татарин, кстати? Что такое татарин? Татарин? I'm assuming that was like a tsar mm-hmm. of Russia. Типа, типа. Ага, uh-huh. татары, remember, during, like, starting in like the 12th century, the Russian lands were ruled by the Mongol Tatars. Oh, okay. And so a Tatarin was kind of your overlord, and you didn't really like them because when they came around, it was time to pay taxes. Oh, uh, okay. So if you say something like, uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, yes. Yeah, so you don't want to, you don't want to, like, uh, you don't want to guess like that. <laughs> so, Nizvani, specifically, what kind of ghost? What ghost? What did you not do to them? Zvat. Zvat. You did not call them to come over. You did not ask okay. them to come over. <laughs> oh, so it's like it's like a like okay, you're saying so you're like an uninvited guest, like a Tatarian. Uh huh. So you could say something right. like, Ah, простите, я знаю, что не звана гость хуже Татарина, но я очень хотела зайти, right? Like so you can give shots at the boy or something like that. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. that oh, that's works. really good. Mm-hmm. Не гост хуже Татарина. That's really da. good. Okay, хорошо. Это самый последний эпизод в этих в этой серии Ooh. видео. Это была самая сложная грамматика, и я думаю, что Илья нормально справился и будет еще справляться, когда будет экзамен. Um, да, хорошо. Если у вас еще какие-нибудь вопросы или заметки, пожалуйста, оставьте внизу. И пожелайте или удачи на экзамены. Это через две недели. Yeah. Так, how are you feeling about all this? Uh, I feel good. I, especially going through the test. I just, I wish I could have you there with the, uh, taking the test of me. Yeah, well, we'll do that. We'll do that on Thursday, right? We'll do that on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. But it, I, did, I actually do feel pretty good about it. I think it is an easier breakdown. Yeah. Yeah, and I want you to have my voice in your head of Kakoi's Kakoi Ghost. Who's in the Kia documentary? Kakia documentary. Okay, Harasho, at the Sios Pasiba Vamsiam, the Svidanya.